Only seven years after the fall of Persepolis, Alexander died in 323 BC. Hence his successors, known as the Seleucids, ruled over Iran for more than a century. Eventually, the Parthians, a Persian-speaking tribal confederation from the northeast, drove the Seleucids out of the Iranian territories and ruled for almost four centuries. The earliest Iranian contact with Christianity took place during this era when three wise men, or Parthian priests, traveled from Iran to Nazareth to pay homage to the infant Jesus. Consequently, Christianity has had almost 2,000 years of history in the Iranian cultural climate. The Parthians were eventually challenged by an ambitious and powerful governor of Fars, Ardeshir Papakan. In 224 AD, Ardeshir established the new Sasanian dynasty, named after his grandfather, Sasan. It was a time um, that was, of course, to lead under the Parthians and Sasanians to a point where the Zoroastrian religion became the religion of Iran. Uh, the king was, in a sense, um, the representative of Ahura Mazda, the, the voice of the god, uh, the person who kept the balance between the forces of good and evil. Kingship and the religion were one entity. Traditionally, Zoroaster is believed to have lived sometime between 900 and 800 BC. Zoroastrianism is still practiced in some parts of Iran and India. Sasanian kings were known as city builders. Ardashir's special and unparalleled heritage is the radiant layout of his town. Ardashir Hure, or the glory of Ardashir, which spreads beyond the city wall and all over the plain, like the 20 spokes of a gigantic wheel. It was two kilometers in diameter, with its 40 meters high tower in the center as a symbol of God-given centralistic kingship. The location of the Sasanian Empire between the Far East and Europe had made it not only the link between East and West, but according to J. Damestetter, as the spiritual bridge for humanity and a crossroad of civilizations. Through this crossroad, Iranian works of art reached the far corners of the known world. For over a millennium, Iranian merchants dominated trade between China and Europe through the Silk Road, centuries before Marco Polo set foot on Chinese soil. A precious commodity was the Sasanian glassware. This is an interesting uh, craft because, of course, these are very breakable, and so they're very, very valuable, so that uh, when you find a piece of beautiful uh, glassware, let's say in Jerusalem or anywhere else in Palestine or even Egypt, and it's identifiable as Sasanian, you have to think this came a long way at great expense and was highly prized. This was something that they mastered the technique of, of, of making these things 
and it was transported throughout the world. They influenced to the many cultural heritage, and the Japanese emperor Shomu loved Iranian specimen, carpet, glassware, music instrument, etc. This marvelous Sasanian glass tray, now at the Bibliothèque Nationale de France, depicts the Sasanian king, Anushirvan. Anushirvan is celebrated for his great Ivan, known as the Taki Kasra in Tessifon. This great Ivan was originally about 50 meters in length, 26 meters in width, and 37 meters in height to the top of the vault. Wider than any vault in Europe, the French traveler Pascal Coast remarked that the Romans had nothing similar to it. The Sasanian period was a high point for luxurious life in antiquity. From feasting to hunting, playing musical instruments to playing chess and polo. Sasanian kings had a special interest in depicting their glorious moments in silver dishes as well as rock reliefs. The image of two animals facing one another is a special feature of Sasanian art. Although this textile you see here was discovered in Egypt, it actually belongs to Sasanian Iran. Here you can see the mythical animals facing each other as well as peacocks. A lot of similar textiles were taken to Europe and they undoubtedly had an effect on Byzantine textiles. The influence of Sasanian motifs can be seen on the external wall of the 12th century AD church of Saint-Étienne in Beauvais, France, and on the textiles from Italy, Spain, and even remote places in the Far East, such as Japan. The reign of Sasanians is distinguished by their numerous encounters with Rome, followed by Byzantium. Various wars between these two powers exhausted both sides and made them vulnerable to a new rising force. By the middle of the 7th century, the Sasanian Empire had been weakened considerably because of wars with Byzantium, internal corruption, high taxation, the caste system had wearied the people, so they were ready to accept a new revolution, the coming of Islam and Islamic troops into the Fertile Crescent and into Iran.